Hey guys, it's Jake here with Tell You How, and today we're going to be looking at an HP desktop computer known as the HP Pavilion HPE H81010, or otherwise known as the HP Elite H81010. We're going to be looking at five different traits today of this computer the appearance, startup, specs, graphics, and display, and render times. And once again, just to let you guys know before you get your hopes up too much, this computer does MSRP for $629.99, which is actually a really good price for all the specs it has, which I'm about to show you. So stay tuned for the video, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, first off, let's take a look at the appearance. Alright, so before this starts, I just want to apologize for the bad camera quality that will change within the next couple weeks or so when I get a new camera. But uh, on the front here, we just have three logos, the Core i5, the Windows 7, and the ATI graphics. Uh, two USB ports and four card slots the disk drive and then two indicator lights uh, by the way this does have built-in Wi-Fi and on the top here we have basically not very much else two more USB ports mic jack headphone jack and the power button light which lights up with a nice blue color so uh, it's pretty cool alright so there's not much footage to show about the startup of the computer but what I did find was the time that it takes from when you press the button to turn the computer on to get to the login screen takes about 35 to 37 seconds and from when you log in to get to the desktop it takes about 22 to 24 seconds so uh, overall we're looking at just under a minute so uh, it's not too bad of a you know startup time so uh, let's get on with the next step alright so now we're gonna take a look at some of the specs alright so here are the core specs right here of this machine which is what makes it what it is uh, the processor in it is the Core i5 2390T running at 2.7 GHz. Uh, this is a quad core processor and one thing I want to say is that I thought you could overclock this processor but apparently you can't. I, apparently it's only the i5 2500K, uh, the Sandy Bridge, you know, whatever, I, I can't remember what it's called. But uh, it's the 2500K that you can overclock, not this one, but uh, still this one runs fine for me. Uh, it comes with 8 gigs of RAM, which is once again okay with me. Most games, if you're going to be gaming on this, which it's probably one of the ma main aspects of this computer. So, uh, you know, most games only require, you know, 2, 3 at the very most. So, ideally, all you would need is 4. But uh, this computer comes with 8, which is just fine. You know, I see no reason to upgrade it. Maybe upgrade the speed of the RAM, but not the amount. So, uh, terabyte of hard drive space. Once again, I would rather have a solid state. But uh, it's a desktop, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can put a solid state in later, or you can just keep the hard drive, which is, you know, I might do either or because I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, I think maybe I'll, I might put a solid state in later uh, just to load my Windows software, and that's pretty much it. But um, the main reason of this, you know, pretty much is the graphics, which is the ATI Radeon uh, HD 6450 with the uh, 512 megabytes of onboard graphics memory. And uh, that might not be enough for some people, but it is enough for me. Once again, you can change it out if you want to. And uh, why don't we go on ahead and get to the graphics section of this review, which uh, I got some gameplay for you guys so you can see how this graphics card actually performs. Alright, so for this section of the video, I actually have some footage uh, that I captured via Fraps. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's like an HD game capturing program for, you know, Windows. And uh, it's of two games, the first one being Counter-Strike Source, the second one being Minecraft. And I know that these games aren't really that, you know, expecting a lot when it comes to specs and stuff for your computer. But uh, it doesn't lag at all on either of them, and I just want to show you guys kind of how it works. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it'll be like this for most games, you know, maybe some really, really high-end games that might lag a little bit. And you might have to put it on, you know, medium to low settings. But uh, given it probably will run most computer games out there. So uh, why don't we take a look. What is this? I just cut my skate. What's new? <laughs> you saw the way I was built? Is that front stage? That sounds like front stage. I'll oh, top off that.
and now we get to the render times um, the render times can be often different for people that you know use different cameras because I know my current camera right now records an mp4 and on my new camera that I'm getting is going to record an AVC HD so uh, you know it's kind of all different but uh, this is kind of just a base render time you know just kind of like a rough ballpark figure of what you're going to be looking at when you render videos I do render in 1280 by 720 6 megabit video so uh, just letting you guys know I don't really have much other render settings if you might say but um, that's basically my kind of render stuff so I have three times for you guys a uh, 400 megabyte video approximately takes around 30 minutes um, a 300 megabyte video takes approximately 22 minutes and then a 200 megabyte video takes approximately 16 minutes so uh, once again these times are kind of estimated I mean they're around so like the 16 minute one maybe like 15 minutes and 25 seconds so I kind of just rounded it to that you know I could have rounded it to 15 but sometimes the same video if you render it can take longer depending on what you're doing so those are kind of like rough estimates but in my opinion um, my videos never exceed four, you know maybe 550 sometimes and even that you're, you're basically looking at under you know definitely under 45 minutes maybe even under 40 so uh, in my opinion that's extremely good for this computer I know the i7s can perform you know much faster and stuff but that's good enough for me, and I hope this review helped you guys out. If you could help this channel out by subscribing and liking the video, comment below with any questions that I may have missed in this review, and I'll answer them to you guys to the best of my ability, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.